wine, the only lover of a single gal. <laughs> oh, my phone's vibrating. Oh my god, an unknown number. Someone's being coy. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? Yes, I'm home alone. How do you know I'm watching a scary movie? I mean, I'd love a cuddle buddy. What's my name? You called me. You want to know the name of the woman you're watching right now? Who are you? My worst nightmare? Then your name must be Dying Alone. <laughs> Is this Chad from CBS? Huh? Oh, I'm glad you got the hint. <laughs> you know, a woman doesn't buy that much lube and leave her business card if she doesn't want to call. <laughs> so, I'm glad. And I love your voice, Changer. I really, really do. I know that it can be hard to put yourself out there. I know, so I, I really feel privileged. What? You don't know who Chad from CBS is and you killed my cat? You're a bad boy. <laughs> oh, no, but who are you really? What? You're a ghost from my past? Who knows what I did last autumn? And you're gonna cut my femoral artery and hang me from a ceiling fan and watch me bleed out? <laughs> Am I Carrie Bradshaw because you sound like Mr. Big? <laughs> you're playing hard to get. I get it. And you're pushing me away because you know that there's something here. No, I will not stop repeating what you're saying. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Do you want to come over? You're already here, hiding somewhere? Oh my god, how do you anticipate my needs before I even say them? I mean, it would have been so lame if you just came and rang my doorbell and just walked on in. I love that you're playing hard to get. What? You don't know how to more clearly indicate to me that you're a murderer who is going to kill me now. Listen, sir. Okay, I can read between the lines, and what I'm hearing from you is dedication and determination, and that's what I want! Okay? Let me see your face. Let me see your face. And if you're shy, I can leave some wine. I can leave it in the kitchen. And, and then I can just take a peek. I'm your young ingenue who loves you for you. You're gonna let me see your face when you've carved your initials into my flesh with a butcher knife? You cock! Ah! <laughs> yes! I really want to date someone who has similar hobbies as me. It's really, really important. I just got Rachel Ray's new book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just really want to try out some of the recipes. Let me run to you, okay? Are you afraid that I'll see you and I won't be attracted to you? How could that possibly be? You know what? I know what I'm going to say, boo. <laughs> Let me meet you in a room in my house that only has one entrance and one exit, okay? What about my basement? I know it's dirty and dark. Or my attic. I know it's still under construction and it's full of plastic tarps everywhere, but there's a table that we could sit on. And just like 16 candles, we could blow out one candle that indicates the rest of our lives. Oh wait, sorry, I'm getting another call. It's the police, hold on. <laughs> Hi, 911, what's up? <laughs> oh, someone earlier saw someone try to break into my house. Oh, don't worry about it. The only thing that's been broken in is my heart. <laughs> May love find you as love has stalked me. Bye-bye! My, my love, are you there? What did I miss? <laughs> you have a, a big surprise for me that I won't see coming. I think it's too early for anal, okay? <laughs> and I definitely think it should never be a surprise. <laughs> you should talk, what? You weren't, you weren't talking about anal. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, and like, I don't like it if you don't like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, that deep sigh you just made, is that an indication that we just got through our first fight? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Um, well, Alicia, your prince will come. <laughs>